What's up Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see and hear, we are at the drag strip, baby. We got Frostbite and Project Storm all the way up to Martin, Michigan to 131 Motorsports Park. And we are about to get some racing in. We're gonna get some test passes in. Um, weather, honestly, compared to Georgia, it feels a lot better up here, but the DA is still pretty bad. It looks like we're about a 3,000 DA almost right now. So, we're, you know, may or may not have much better runs. We'll see. But we did make some changes. We came here to have fun and hang out with Torque Storm Superchargers as they are in the house and they have all kind of Torque Storm Supercharge rides up here. Race car. <laughs> we did take some weight out of Frostbite. We ended up taking a little bit of the interior out and we dropped about two to 300 pounds roughly, I think. And uh, we took the back seat out of Storm um, just to try to help out a little bit. So we're hoping to run a little bit faster. We will see how it goes. We still got a long weekend ahead of us. Uh, we're both gonna be running in the Torque Storm True Street class. And hopefully we both can win our class so fingers crossed wish us some luck out there and we're definitely gonna give us some hail so let's go check out the track let's go see the trucks real quick So True Street cars, this is a time trial, I believe, for True Street. So this should be their final time trial. These cars will all, as a group, go do a 25-mile drive, and then they'll come back and they'll make three consecutive runs. You are not allowed to work on the car. You can set tire pressure, and that's about it. You're not allowed to open the hood. You're not allowed to change anything in the, in the tune or anything like that. So these, this is a true test of an actual car that hits the street. And I'll tell you, you'll see them coming up shortly. There are a number of eight-second cars that compete in this class. So I will say this again later, but for those of you that are back in the pits and can, are back in the stage lanes and can hear me, at noon they will be having a cookout for True Street competitors at the True Street tent. Now this is from Torque Storm Superchargers to say thank you to you guys, and this is only for True Street competitors. But it doesn't matter what class you're running. If you have a Torque Storm Supercharger sticker on your car, you can go pick up a gift bag from Torque Storm down there at 
right behind the True Street tent. And then at noon, all True Street competitors go for the cookout. They'll be providing food for you at lunch. The Bill Uncle, Dylan Derby, making their way down. 1027 at 134 for Bill. Dylan Derby goes 1131 at 121 miles an hour on his side of the drag strip. Ryan Walton, Harry Host. Walton, the 2012 Dodge Ram pickup truck. And Harry Host, 2017 Challenger. They're in that casino right hand lane. Both of them leaving the starting line. A little bit of tire spin on both sides of the racetrack. But it's all right. They're just getting their setups and everything ready for a little bit later on today. 13 15, 113 miles an hour for Harry Host. Ryan Walton goes 14 47 at 93 on the left lane of the racetrack. Scott Oshinsky, you guys keep your eye on this 1972 Oldsmobile Cutlass. He is a killer here in the True Street category. That car is 110% street legal. And just went 848 at 162 miles an hour. I told you. Okay, our last two True Street cars are coming to the starting line right now. Left lane is Anthony Booker, Booker and right lane is Dylan Derby. Dylan Derby. And uh, so it, that's an 11 Dodge truck. It just says 11 truck is what he wrote on his tech card, but I'm pretty sure the big Mopar means it's a Dodge. And then it's 03 Mustang in the left side. Mustang has some traction challenges on the starting line to the 60 foot. The right lane, the truck, is seven-tenths of a second faster. Truck goes through with a 1202 at a 119. Left lane goes through 1403 at 102. It's going to be some tough competition today if those guys can run three laps and run those same ET. We've had a lot of, lot of cars right, right there on the number. Okay, left lane is Scott Ochinski. Anthony Yeager in the right lane. Scott in an Olds Cutlass runs through. 8.52 at 161.52 miles an hour. The right lane went 11.67 at 103. What's up, Mopar fam? We are about to go on the True Street Cruise. As you can see, we have a ton of cars participating today. Lots and lots of cars, all different kinds. And we got cars, trucks, everything. Uh, we got a lot of Torque Storm Supercharger rides up here also. And uh, that's really cool to see all the Torque Storm cars that's running today. We got GTOs, we got Mustangs, we got Project Storm. And of course we got Frostbite back there. So we're about to kick off the cruise. The cruise is supposed to be about a 25 mile uh, cruise where you have to, basically the vehicle has to make the trip and make it all the way back. You cannot stop. Uh, you cannot pull over, pop the hood or anything like that. If you do, you are DQ'd. Um, so we're gonna make the cruise. We're gonna come back and then immediately get in the staging lanes. They're gonna give us about a 15 minute cool down where we are not allowed to open the hood, put fans on it, change anything only thing we can change is air pressure and that's pretty much it or if you're running nitrous you can change a bottle out as long as it's mounted in the truck or excuse me as long as long as it's mounted in the trunk or in the interior you can change a bottle um, or add ice if you got a you know water ice intercooler setup you can do that as long as it's in the trunk or the car you're still not allowed to ever open the hood at all um, so it's pretty strict. You got to have DOT tires up front and in the back. Um, but lots of fast cars. I mean, it goes all the way down to eight seconds. 
and all the way up to 15 seconds. So definitely lots of fast cars of all different sorts. So it's a fun class for, you know, the average guy out there that has a hot rod that wants to go race it. Um, it's a fun class. I mean, you see anything from very, very mild to very extreme. I mean, we got cars out here that has parachutes hanging on the back of them and they're about to go on this cruise and they're going to call it a street car. So we're going to see. Uh, you also have to have obviously driver's license, tag, insurance, all that stuff. So as long as that all passes through tech, then you are approved to run in the, you are approved to run in the class, uh, which is a true street class. So wish us luck. We got Project Storm, Frostbite. We're about to go do it. We're going to make our three passes and hopefully we do pretty good. And hopefully one of the trucks or both of them for that sake wins their class. So give us hope. Let's see. Christopher Bruga, Dylan Derby, Blue with the 18 Camaro, and the Dodge pickup truck over there on the right. Remember, I'm running based off of second interval indexes. Three runs in a row, cannot make any adjustments. Best three run average wins the class. 11.40 with a 9 and 122 miles an hour. Christopher Beluga. Dylan Derby goes 11.33-0 at 119.24. Man, that's a flying pickup truck. Anthony Brooker, 13.84 with a 0 and 105 miles an hour on the left side. 13.077 at 102. Ryan Walton, left side. Mike Baker, right. Uh, nice run, 1191 9, 103 miles an hour on his side. Ryan Walton, 1536 at 84. The 2012 round. As you can see, those True Street cars lining up in front of the grandstands. Getting ready for their second run as soon as everybody gets done with the first. Scott Oshinsky, the 72 Cutlass. Oh. And Scott's car is acting up, which is not normal. Scott's car is usually on kill. 10.55, 133 miles an hour. I don't know. Sharon, it was 13.08 at 104. Dylan Derby, left side. Christopher Bluga in the right side. Christopher Bluga, 951 7, 148 miles an hour. Dylan Derby, 1139 with a 7 at 118 on the left side of the racetrack. Of the True Street Shootout. They have participated in their 25 to 30 mile cruise. They come back and make three consecutive runs down the racetrack. We will take the three runs, average them out together. Best average, closest to their index wins. Mike Baker, 1182 of the five at 119. And Ryan Walton, 1568 at 89. Craig Williams Sr., 12097 at 114 miles an hour. Melt Rubens goes 1272 at 11097. Scott Oshinsky, 72 cutlass over there on the left side. Let's see if he has a better run this time. Yeah, that's a better run for Oshinsky. Not having the issues he did the first time. Spitting a little bit of something out of the pipes, but all good to go. 870 with a five, 156 miles an hour. Nine and one at 84. On the brakes hard down there. Sharon, 1326 at 102.97. Dylan Derby. Being the left side in the pickup truck. Tony Karamitsos, 69 Camaro in the right side. Fastest one so far.
Tony. 837.7, 165.99, the speed. Definitely the fastest car so far in True Street. 11.43.9 at 117.68 for Dylan Derby. Mike Baker and Ryan Walton already heading down the racetrack. Let's see, 1238 one, 88 miles an hour for Mike Baker. Yeah, he was off the gas too. Ryan Walton, 1479 with a four at 94. Oh, Scott Oshinsky spun the tire but got back after it. Oshinsky, 946 four at 138. Not what he was wanting. What's up, Mopar fam? The race day is over. We've completed the whole weekend. Frostbite didn't do too bad. Uh, we ended up running 11 threes in our time trials on race day. Um, so we ended up with an 11 three average. We did not win our class. Somebody ended up with an 11 0 average. But however, we did win the fastest overall vehicle with a torque storm at the race. So that was awesome. I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that we got for the awards. So first thing, we got an awesome picture here with the truck going down the track. Got a little bit of wheel lift right here. Definitely a dope picture. And the prize for the fastest pass with a torque storm we actually got. And it's a torque storm head unit actual cover from one of their superchargers and they made it into a clock. Pretty dope. Um, got the 131 Motorsports Park on it fastest pass so I was stoked about that and we got a torque storm tumbler that's in the box but all in all we had fun it was definitely a long drive 13 hours to get up here but it was well worth it uh, we got project storm up here project storm ran well we were trying to go for like the 15 0 class um, but we missed it by I think like one tenth somebody ended up getting us but we had fun we was able to go and see the Great Lake. I've never been there before, so that was awesome. Go around town a little bit, had some fun, and got to see a lot of awesome cars, a brand new racetrack we've never been to. It was a blast. So hopefully next year we'll be able to make the trip again and do it. Um, Torque Storm said they're gonna try to do this as an annual every year, so if they do, I'm gonna try to put it down on the calendar and make it happen. Uh, next big race will be Mo Party coming up in September. So hopefully we can have the truck a little bit more dialed in and do really well at Mo Party. Uh, we're going to take Project Storm up there as well and do some racing with Project Storm. So I'm hoping both trucks can do well and compete and maybe both of us can win. Maybe both trucks can win their class. That's what I'm hoping for. So wish us luck. We're going to head home. And then in the next couple weeks, we're gonna to try to start messing with these things, get them ready for Mo Party. So stay tuned, stay safe out there. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We'll see you on the next one.